My favorite place to play on the field is in the midfield. I don't care if it's the eight, the six, or out wide. I just love being in the middle of the park where all the action is. You know, when you're in the middle, you're on the ball more than anyone else. So in this video, I'm gonna give you three drills to make you a better midfielder. First drill I'm gonna give you is all about passing and receiving. If you can't keep possession for your team, you can't play in the midfield. That's why you put fast players up top that can get you goals. People that can just defend, stick them in the back. The midfield, man, you gotta control the game. So can you receive the ball with different parts of the foot and keep possession and find your teammates? So in this drill, you need two sticks or two cones, two markers, whatever you have. On this one, we're gonna play the wall, take a touch around the stick, play the wall, take a touch around the stick, and then go right into the other side. But I'm gonna show you three different variations of that. First technique I'm gonna go over when receiving the ball is open up the hip. If the ball is coming to me and the ball comes in, I wanna open up my hip to touch the ball to space. So you're gonna see here, I'm gonna open up my hip one, two, three, four times in a row. So you play the glass, open the right. Play, open the left. Play, open the left. Play, open the right. Play, kill. So that was one rep. I'm just focusing on consistency and getting a proper first touch with the open the hip technique when the ball comes in. Obviously, I'm not scanning my shoulders every time. I'm just focusing on my touch right now, not so much my awareness. Second part of that drill, same concept, just different part of the foot. Let's use the outside now. Same deal, just keeping it clean, keeping the ball on the ground. The third and final technique when doing this drill is across the body. Cut the ball across as it comes in. So there you have it, three different ways to receive the ball. Open up the hip, outside touch, and finally, across the body. Work on that at home. So the first drill was all about passing and receiving. Receiving that ball coming in with a good first touch. Second drill for my midfielders out there, it's all about turning. When you play in the middle, you know, you're the link pin between the defense and the offense. So at some point when that ball comes in from the defender, you have to be able to turn and transition and get the ball forward. So the second drill for all my midfielders, it's all about turns. First part of this drill, we're gonna work on just turning the corner. So if I have a defender on my back, and that ball comes in and they're pressing me. Can I just get through the channel and spin off the defender to now go forward? I'll do a rep in real time now. Let's focus on the outside of the foot first. So an outside of the foot turn. So you play, you see the pressure, boom, roll through. And obviously now I'm off and running. So that outside turn was just one variation. You also could go across the body. You could do a Cruyff turn and spin through. And also, you can open up your hip and knock that ball through the channel. That's another three variations you can do in addition to the outside turn I just showed you. Second part of this drill, you're not always gonna have someone right on your back. So you don't always have to spin off them. Sometimes the defender's gonna lay off. In that case, you'll have time to receive on the half turn and just go forward staying in a straight line. So I'll show you the half turn with the left and the right. You play, you see you have space, so you just turn. Now my head is up and I'm playing. So just do reps of that left foot. And obviously work your right foot as well. Scan, you see the room, turn. Boom, now I can play and get my offense started for my team. Going along with that half turn, another version is letting it run. Sometimes if you have the right weight on the pass, you don't even have to touch it. So if I play here and I see the pace is good, I might just boom, let it run. I still have possession. Same thing the other way, work on your no touch turns. Boom, let it run and then you're out and do whatever you want. And I wanna add one final thing going with the whole turn theme. You gotta have that drag in your locker as well. Meaning, say you're coming here and all of a sudden someone's coming, but you wanna keep possession and turn just like that. I'm kinda just making room for myself. The other two, I was trying to go forward. I spun out, I went forward. I went on the half turn, I went forward. Sometime, I might have pressure here and I just wanna kinda yank the ball here and keep it where I am so I can find a teammate for a pass. That's also a huge turn that all midfielders should have in their locker. The third and final segment of this midfielder video is gonna be all about either dribbling or some type of footwork, and then passing a longer pass to a target, which in a game is gonna be your teammate. So distribution. Can we hold on to the ball, keep possession, and then release it and find someone who's wide open? So right now I have two teammates. I have a teammate over there in that small white net, 
and that's another teammate over there, the other small white net. Those are my two teammates that I'm gonna be aiming for. I'm gonna give you three examples of things you can do with this setup. Again, it could be anything, I'm making this up. The first one I'm gonna do is gonna be a figure eight. How quick can I dribble a figure eight and then release to my teammate? Keep possession, dribble, dribble, dribble. The minute you have daylight, get rid of it and find your open player. A different variation of this drill. Now, instead of dribbling, let me do some footwork. As a midfielder, you're usually known as having the best feet on the team. So again, I'm gonna make up a pattern. There's a million variations you can do. Choose whatever you want. But for me, right now, I'm gonna go with touch, L turn, pull. Meaning touch, L turn, pull, and then I'm gonna advance the ball forward. Pull it back and go again. Touch, L turn, pull. I'm gonna do that four times. One, two, three, four, and then I'm gonna release to that teammate this time. Again, nothing crazy, I'm just getting reps. I'm on my own, no one around, just getting touches, hitting targets, just building my confidence. That's what training alone is all about. Just building that confidence and getting reps in. Third variation of this, I'm gonna mix it together now. The dribbling and the footwork as one, and then find a teammate. So on this one, I'm gonna use that gate. I'm gonna dribble to the gate and back once, twice. Then I'm gonna turn, do a little 1v1 skill, and find a teammate. So I get my dribbling, I get my turns, I get my footwork on the move, and obviously, I get, most importantly, my pass to a target. So on that one, going into it, I honestly had no idea what I, was gonna, what I was gonna do. I just made it up as I was going. Just reacting, going off feel. I'm not stressing about it. If I didn't love it, guess what? I have another ball right here, and I'll do it again. But for you guys, I'm just giving you a taste, so that's good enough. You guys stay here all day, perfect it. Reps, reps, reps. I'm the coach, you're the player. You need the volume, so. Again, you can mix that up however you want. Just get after it, work your dribbling, work your footwork, and obviously, work your distribution. Listen, being a complete midfielder, it's gonna take you years, it's gonna take you decades. It's a never-ending process. But again, this video isn't to make you a complete midfielder, it's meant to make you a better midfielder. This is one little video that might help you in your training, that might make you 2%, 3% better, which is huge in the long run. Just baby steps until you become the best midfielder you possibly can be. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.